First, I'm going to explain the little pattern pieces for you guys. Um, I got this pattern a really long time ago. I honestly forgot where I got it from, but every single time when I buy a pattern, I always put it on like a hard manila paper or just poster paper so it's sturdier and it's easier for me to trace around. I do have these pattern sets uploaded on the link down below so you guys can go check it out. You can go ahead and download it. I also labeled how many you have to cut and I want you guys to assume that we are going to be cutting with right sides of the fabric face together. For example, this is my front and I cut out two pieces of my front but when I was cutting it out I had them facing each other and I laid the fabric on top and I went went ahead and I cut it out and what happened is when I open them up they're going to be opposites or mirror images of each other and that's how you would sew it together so that it will be a complete whole piece. So we're going to start off with the body first. This is the back of the teddy bear and this is the front of the teddy bear. All you have to do is face them right sides together and go ahead and sew the center seam up. And before I do sew this together I wanted to mention that this pattern is made with a one-fourth of an inch seam allowance. So if you need another fourth of an inch to make it a half seam allowance so it's easier for you to sew, grab the pattern and use a ruler to draw an extra one-fourth of an inch so that when you cut out the pattern, you'll have half of an inch seam allowance. So it's easier for you to sew around. In mode, you can go ahead and clip the seam allowances on the center front and the center back of the body as well. This way it gives it a nice curvature when you flip it inside out. So once you're done sewing this, you're going to take a little pair of scissors or just regular shears and go ahead and clip around the curves of your seam allowances. And this way, when you flip it inside out, it's easier for this curve to bend around and it'll make your teddy bear nice and round. Otherwise, it's going to look all kind of structured and weird. Once that's done, just go ahead and flip it inside out. So we have a little teddy bear arm, yay! We're going to take the front of the body. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip the front over and then we're going to take the left arm and we're going to put it over here. Then you take this left arm, you flip it over and you just go ahead and connect these points. Then essentially what's going to happen is if you open this fold a little bit, all of this should connect to that one side of the teddy bear. Now with the back, we're going to open it and have it facing you. I'm going to lay this whole body on top of it. And this part right here, this edge of the arm, is going to connect to this part of the body. Just like that. Can you see that? Alright, so you have it like this. So you're just going to sew this edge and then this edge and this will connect the arm together to the body. Okie dokie folks, so after you have the arms in, you can go ahead and flip it over just to see what it kind of looks like. So you have your little teddy bear body right here. La 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 la. The slit that, the little bulk that we had before from the underarm, now we're going to close it. So align these two seams right here where the body was attached to the arm and close it up and what you're going to have is a mini dart you're going to sew that dart and then go all the way down on the side of the body you're going to do the same thing on the other arm as well and this is the body so we're going to start with the little feet in the bottom okay the legs are pretty easy you're just going to take your fabric face them right side together fold them in half face them right side together and just sew along these edges. This is what it's going to look like after you've sewn the little sole on. It's actually really cute. Now flip it inside out and you're going to stuff the feet. And you could go buy special stuffing or whatever you want. But I just tore apart a pillow that I don't use anymore. And um, I use the stuffing for that. So I stuff the feet. Be boy, boo, boo. I'm going to close it and sew a basting stitch right here just to keep it together. And then we are going to just attach the feet up to the body like this. Both feet. Just like that. So when you flip it down, it's going to look like this, sitting right up at you. Okay, so we have the feet in and it's starting to look like a little teddy bear. It's so cute. <sighs> Sadly, we have to flip this bad boy 
inside out again. So, flip them in. And now, we are going to take the bottom piece and place it over. And we're going to sew all the way around. It's kind of like how you were sewing the feet in. Just make sure that you're very careful not to catch um, other parts of the feet besides the seam allowance of the feet. Alright, let's start tackling the head. Anyways, you're going to go ahead and sew in the darts for the front part of the head. Just like that. Then you're going to sew up the center front seam here. Also, you're going to do the same thing for the back as well. You're going to fold and sew the darts, and then you're going to put it right sides together and sew the center back of the head. Once you're done with the muzzle, you're going to take the head and attach the muzzle to the head like this. So that the right sides of each of the fabric are facing each other. So once you pin the muzzle on like this, you're just going to sew all the way around right here. So once the muzzle is in, you notice how there's this triangle right in the center right here. You're going to line up this line, and you're going to sew straight across. It's kind of like sewing a dart. So this is what it's going to look like. And if you flip it to the front facing you, you kind of have like a teddy bear shaped head. Next we'll start with the ears. We're going to have the back ears, and then the front ears. It's a little bit annoying because you're sewing on a curve, so it's going to be a little bit difficult. But essentially, this little guy is going to go all the way around. Just like so, and they'll match up. Now if you don't want to do this, you can skip it and just go for two of the back ears and have them face right sides together and just sew around and then flip it inside out. So this is what my little ears are going to look like with the outer ear and the inner ear. Flip it over, you're going to clip this right here on the curve. Only if you've done this, if you've done the two back ears facing together, that's okay. I won't judge your noob sewing skills either. Okay, so next we're going to take the back ear and the front ear and face them right sides together and sew. Okay, so here are my earsies. Um, some people might want to stuff a little bit of cotton in here. I'm just going to leave it like this because I think it's fine and dandy for now. Now you're going to take the head and you're going to pin the ears facing down like this. And if you want to know if your ears are nicely distributed, um, try to look at the center. So right here, this is about 2 inches wide, so this end right here stops at 2 inches, this end stops at 2 inches, so I know that my ears are going to be pretty, pretty straight. Then you can take the back of the head, take it and lay it right on top of the front, and what you're going to do is you're going to sew from one cheek all the way over one ear on the top of the forehead and then over the other ear and all the way down to the other cheek. And we're almost done, all you got to do is trim the seam allowances and kind of clip it a little bit so we can turn the head inside out. Forgot to tell you guys something because sometimes I'm a better learner than I am a teacher. Is that when I was sewing the back, I actually left a really wide stitch here and then I did a really small stitch on the little bum. And the reason why I did a wide stitch here is so that I could open it later. You need to be able to open this because that's how you're going to attach the head on. Okay, so I have the back open. Now you're just going to attach the head. Okie dokie, so this is what my teddy bear looks like. And at first it was like this, right? So now you're just going to stuff your teddy bear with your pillow stuffing. So here's the finished result. Um, for the eyes, I just used some puffy paint to paint in the eyes. As you can see, there's a little black dot in the center that I need to clean up because I made a boo-boo. And in the back, you could just do a quick blind stitch by hand, and that should be it. So have fun with the project, and happy Valentine's Day. Bye! Also, you're feeling extra lovey-dovey, how about making a really cute Valentine's dinner for that special someone? Just head over to Hungry Nation, they have a bunch of really awesome recipes for you to try out.